What's up? My name is Technumber here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you something rather useful for Android. Just a quick heads up, you don't need a rooted device for this, even though a couple of sites say that you do, you just need to follow along with these steps properly and you'll be A-OK. -okay. So what exactly are we talking about in today's video? Well, to help today's video, I've got my Android screen mirrored over here. Why exactly do I have that? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can delete files with invalid file names. How exactly do you get them? Well, we'll get there in just a second. If I open up my file browser and head across to my downloads, you'll see this file over here. I currently have another file deleted, which I'll probably include a screenshot of. This one over here, as you can see, is zero bytes. And if I click on details, you'll see deleted or invalid file. Why is it deleted or invalid? Well, it's rather simple. It's because of these little emoticons over here. These completely break the Android file system, which stops me from deleting this file. If I click delete, take the file, click delete again, delete, you'll see that it empties the file down to zero bytes, and then it just says cannot delete file, or it'll stay its original file size and you just can't touch it. You shouldn't even be able to move these to a different folder. So how exactly do we get rid of this? Well, we can do it with some third-party file browsers. If you have one of them installed, go ahead and attempt to delete the file using one of those. However, if you're unsuccessful, there is another program which will be linked in the description down below where we'll be running some commands. Basically, we'll be typing in some commands and navigating the file system through text, then we'll delete the file manually without the help of a file browser. Again, if you do have a third-party file browser installed, make sure to try it with one of those first. Linked in the description down below, you'll find this program over here, Termux. This is exactly what we're going to be using. As you can see, when we open it up, we see this over here. This is our command prompt where we can enter some commands and we can control our Android system. Basically, once you have this program installed, open it at least once and then go ahead and close out of it by hitting your home button, then pulling down the tab at the top, expanding the Termux one and clicking exit. After the program is completely closed, we need to give it access to our file system. So heading across to my settings and then into something like app or app management, in my case, apps, then locating and clicking on Termux, we get something similar to this where we can force stop or uninstall it. All we have to do is find the permissions section, click on it, and then we need to allow it access to the storage module over here. Once we've done that, we can simply reopen Termux, and now we have access to the file system. So as long as you have a keyboard and the ability to type, you're all set. So what do we need to do from here? Well, as long as it's in something like your downloads folder or something on your actual phone itself, all we have to do is type in CD space, followed by forward slash, SD card forward slash, which is a bit confusing as SD card is actually the internal memory and not an actual physical SD card in the phone that you can add and remove, then followed by the folder's name. In my case, it'll be download. If you're not sure of the folder name, you can simply do CD for change directory forward slash SD card forward slash, hit enter to change to that folder, and then use the ls command to list out all of the folders in this folder. Then simply locating the folder we're looking for, which in my case is download. I can simply type in cd download as such and do ls again. Now we see a list of files inside of the download folder over here. As you can see, Minecraft 1.14, new official textures, blah, 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 and then a bunch of question marks over here. These are the broken characters preventing me from deleting this file. I'm pretty sure this one over here is the thumbs up and the thumbs down emoticon. So how exactly do we delete this? Well, all we have to do is type in rm for remove space followed by the name of the file. Now here's where things get a bit tricky. We won't be able to type out the file name as it has a bunch of emoticons in it and we can't see what it exactly is. From here, simply press the first or however many characters you need in order to identify this one file over here uniquely from the rest of them. Say you have a bunch of folders titled Minecraft, you'll need to have it as Minecraft followed by a couple of digits or something like that that identifies this specific file. Whether it be a specific word or combination of characters like this one over here. As long as it starts with it, we should be able to type in the first or so characters and then hit the tab button if you're using an external keyboard. Of course, if you're not using an external keyboard, simply hold down the volume up button and then press T. This is the same as hitting tab. I think it has to be a capital M. And there we go. 
We have now entered the full name of this file by holding down the volume up button, pressing T to press tab. If you have a hacker keyboard or something like that, you may have a tab button on it already. Let's simply hit enter and see what happens. We don't see anything returned back to us. I'll run ls so it tells us what's inside of this folder. And as you can see, the file has been deleted. Great. Now we've successfully deleted the file by using the first character of the first word over here. So let's go ahead and create a new file in that folder to demonstrate what else we can do. So now that I've copied another file into this folder, heading back to Termux over here, we can do ls and we see the file that we want to delete. Let's assume that we have multiple files that are all broken and have a similar naming format, or we simply can't type in rm space followed by the first or so letter, volume up t, and we don't get this response as then it doesn't automatically tab in the full name for us, or say it does tab in the full name but we still can't delete the file, what can we do? Well, we can use the asterisk as a wildcard, meaning everything that contains this section, asterisk and whatever else, where the asterisk means any combination of any characters, it'll delete every file that matches that formula. So if I do RM space capital S, which is the first letter of this one over here, followed by a star, it'll mean that every file that contains an S with any combination of characters after it will be deleted. So say another file in this folder has an S followed by anything else, anywhere within it, it'll be deleted as well. So be careful when doing this. Try and find something super identifiable, again, like this up here. This is of course more than identifiable enough to only count for this file over here. Then we can simply enter a star, enter, and it'll delete that file. Of course, because I've already deleted it, it can't delete it. In this case, this file over here, has screenshot in it, and that's completely unique to every other file in this folder. So I could do rm space capital S screenshot, add a star after it, meaning any combination of characters, enter, and then that file is deleted. Running ls, we no longer have that file inside of this folder. That's great. So looking at my file manager over here, you can see I have internal storage and external storage, the SD card. This 2GB SD card is an actual physical SD card that I can put in and pull out of my phone. Scrolling down to the very bottom, we have a text document over here that I'd like to go ahead and delete. Let's say I can't delete this text document, how do we do it from within Termux? So unfortunately, getting to our actual physical SD card isn't too easy. All we have to do is type in cd space forward slash and instead of SD card, we'll be typing in forward slash storage. Hitting enter, will be taken to the storage folder. Typing in ls, we'll see a couple of folders as such. Emulated, as far as I know, is the physical internal memory. But what we're looking for is a bunch of numbers like this one over here. This is the unique identifier for your external SD card. So I'll type in cd space, followed by the first letter of this, which in my case is five. I'll hold down the volume up and hit T for tab. Hitting enter, we're now inside of our external SD card. Using ls, we see all of the files in our external SD card. From here, I can do rm, followed by the name of the file we want to delete. In my case, it's new text document, so rm n, volume up, t, and we have our new text document over here. If we hit enter, we might see something like this about being right protected. Simply hitting y and then enter, it'll attempt to remove it. But if you see something like this, cannot remove, new text document, permission denied, then the SD card itself may be locked or there may be something else on your phone protecting this file. If we get that, then your SD card itself may have a physical lock on it that you have to unlock in order to delete files. If you see something like this and you're unable to delete the file, try deleting it again using a third-party file explorer application. And if you're still unable to do that, the best option for you is to completely remove the SD card from your phone and place it into your computer or a laptop and delete the file from there. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. And if you're curious about how I mirrored my phone onto my PC, well, I'll probably do a video on that maybe tomorrow. Anyways, it has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!